Hi, I'm Gil Crosby, and I am with you today to talk about my new book, Plan Change, based on the methods and the, the life and theories of Kurt Lewin. Uh, I'm so excited about it, and it's it, the timing is perfect. Here we are about to celebrate in 2021 the 75th anniversary of the invention of the tea group by Mr. Lewin at the 1946 Connecticut Workshop on Race Relations. My father, uh, in the lower right-hand corner, was in his first tea group in 1953 and has been applying Lewin's methods ever since. I began my organization development career in 1984. Uh, all of my work, including my books here on the left, have been influenced heavily by Mr. Lewin. I didn't realize how heavily until I started writing this book. I took Lewin's writing, his original writing, uh, from many sources like resolving social conflicts and field theory in social science, uh, which is a, a collection of his writings, uh, The Complete Social Scientist, another great collection of Lewin's work, The Practical Theorist, a biography about Lewin uh, by one of his customers. So, uh, and there's more. So there's a, just a, a plethora of writing by Mr. Lewin. And so I organized it into themes like social justice and organization development and tea groups uh, and uh, democracy. So I, I think this book is perfect for any organization development program. Uh, so for academia, this is, this is a, a great source now, uh, uh, the collected works you could call it of Mr. Lewin organized by categories. Uh, so uh, any program in management, any social service program, please consider this for your program. This could be the core material for any organization development program. I hope you will take a look at it. Uh, you can see my contact information over here on the left. I'd be happy to talk to anybody anytime about Kurt Lewin and his work. Uh, part of my life mission now is to spread his methods, spread a fresh knowledge of his work. This, this, uh, you'll find many illustrations in here, many from Lewin, but some that I've put together like this. Lewin writes about a leadership triangle, leadership style triangle. I made it into a visual. Uh, he was clear that if there's too much structure, uh, that the results that came from his research and from my own history uh, that uh, confirms this is that the, there will be high tension and performance will be too dependent on the leader. So it'll be unreliable, there'll be low morale. Uh, if there's too little structure, if the leader is too passive, and there are a lot of leaders that lead this way, I find this style to be very prevalent in organizations. People are too passive, they just wanna be nice, they just want everyone to just get along, they don't wanna be the boss. And so the, it also leads to low performance because of confusion uh, and high tension because people are frustrated without enough leadership, uh, low morale. So the same basic kinds of things happen. Here you have democratic style. You can uh, be in charge and engage people in thinking for themselves and coming up with their own solutions. So that's the ideal style, at least it's the style that works reliably over and over again in his research and in my own experience, my father's experience. Uh, so uh, you are going to have structure and freedom combined in this corner of the triangle. That's almost an exact quote from Mr. Lewin. This is just one example of the type of clarity that you can get from this book. This is a great book. Uh, it's available at Routledge, uh, the, uh, the publisher, and they give discounts. So that's a good place to buy it, but it's also available at Amazon. And so I hope you'll take a look. I appreciate you giving me your time. Take care.